Hello good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's a girl Cheryl here, thank you so much for clicking to watch this video, thank you for each and every person who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I appreciate and welcome to the family, so guys guess what, I'm in northern Kenya and specifically I'm in Kakuma, guys do you know where Kakuma is situated, if you know just leave a comment and tell me where Kakuma is situated, so guys I'm in Kakuma and I'm in the biggest refugee camp in Kenya, or so guys I wanted to show you inside the refugee camps and uh, I wanted you to to get a glimpse of uh, what uh, the refugees uh, camps looks like. Uh, here in Kakuma we have like five refugee camps. We have Kakuma 1, Kakuma 2, Kakuma 3, Kakuma 4 and Kalbeye. All of them are here in Kakuma. Yeah. So I wanted to just take you inside. Uh, I can't say in, inside the villages of Kakuma. Inside the camps of Kakuma refugee camps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, leave a comment and tell me what you think. And kindly subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a video guys the weather here is also like um there is uh, a lot of sun there is a lot of heat uh, but we are going to to manage too so guys let's go and enjoy the video so here the first thing here we have you have seen guys in the church we have a church here so they have a place of worship yeah so guys, here we have a church called Presbyterian Church of South Sudan Chol Congregation, Kakuma DEP. So this is their church. So uh, actually, we are in Kakuma. Kakuma Four. Oh. Oh. So guys, here where we are setting our video is a place called Kakuma Four. Yeah. So we are going to take you around so that you can get a glimpse of uh, the refugee camps here in Kakuma. So guys, Kakuma is the site of a UNHCR refugee camp which was established in 1992 to host unaccompanied minors who had fled the war in Sudan and from the camps in Ethiopia. Kakuma is one of two large refugee camps in Kenya. As you can see, yeah, others have, fenced, have secured uh, their, their place of uh, homestead, their homesteads here. Yeah. So I've been told, uh, actually, this uh, when the refugees ca come here, they are given a part, uh, a small parcel of land, so that they can build their houses and live with their families. So as you can see here, we have a fence homestead. Yeah. So, guys, enjoy. So almost all the homesteads are almost the same. You can see, guys, here. Yeah. So guys, I have a glimpse of the camps. They are, they are friends with a special type of... Guys, and one thing about Kakuma, it's a, it's a defecation free site. So each and every homestead has their own toilet here. Yeah, so that's a plus. That's a plus. They are really... They are what? Mazingira zao ni safi. Great. So guys, this is a homestead. Look at that. That's a toilet there. So it's a free defecation site that comes here. Yeah. So guys, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Grand up. Which has thorns as uh, their fence, you can see here it has thorns for so maybe security purposes. Yeah. Um, here. The Kakuma complex is managed by the Kenyan government and the Kenya Department of Refugee Affairs in conjunction with the UNHCR. As of December 2020, the site hosts around 200,000 people, mostly refugees from the city. I love about this place is it has really secluded a place for kids to, to play. play. To play. So here we have a basketball pitch, and over there we have a football pitch. Yeah. So kids can come here to play. For some <laughs> 
Utaweza kufunga. Wewe funga. Wewe funga. This is the school. Hope Primary. Hope, Hope Primary. Hope Primary. Hope. Yeah. So guys, here you can see. Here we, we have a school here. So the kids of Kakuma get to uh, have access to education. This school over here is called Hope Primary School. Yeah. So kids here at least have uh, access to education. We <laughs> have a youth center. Next up on So, up on the center, what are you dance, computer, yeah. Dances, especially if you dance in a cinema. So, guys, in front of me, uh, we get to see the market. So, here at the marketplace, this is where the people of Kakuma come to sell their products or buy products from them, foodstuffs, and any other things available to them. Where the what? The climate in Kakuma uh, are average temperatures reaching 40 degrees Celsius and only drop at night. The only plants that survive are thorny bushes and a few African flat top trees. So guys, each ethnic community in the camp occupies a separate and somewhat discreet location. Each neighborhood builds its own market stands, coffee shops, library and places of worship. There are aid agencies responsible for some things in the camp. For example, there are aid agencies responsible for health facilities. There are some which are responsible for providing primary education, early childhood development, child protection, and sustainable livelihood programs. There are aids which are responsible for providing um, housing, and there are also aids that are responsible for providing food for the refugees. So guys, except for the tiny minority who are able to establish shops, the vast majority of the population of Kakuma is completely dependent on the food ration supplied for their survival. The World Food Program provides a food ration to all the refugees twice a month based on the minimal dietary requirement. World Food Program is responsible for deciding the amount of food to be distributed and for providing it in the form of staples. So guys, for security purposes during the day, it's okay, but during the night, the refugee residents have their own guards and patrols who patrol at night and keep them safe. In front of me, we have a women's and Kagal safe space center for offering economic and psychological support, I think, for women who are affected with uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah. The youth training camp guys here for the youths of Kakuma. I love the fact that uh, almost uh, this place has something that supports youth, that supports children, that supports women. Uh, I'm not sure about the men, but mostly men are usually overlooked, but I have both, I've been told both, so here we still are 
Yeah. So right now we are going to Kakuma. Kakuma 3. Right now we are going to Kakuma 3, guys. We have another school. Yeah, a primary school. This is a primary or a secondary school? A primary school for the kids, man. For the kids because education, education is very important. Yeah. So so we have a Congolese church there. You see we have churches for each and every person here. Yeah. So there is a Congolese lady. Okay guys, so um we have reached at a place called uh, Kakuma 3. Yeah. So uh another thing guys I've been told another thing guys I've been told that uh the refugees that are here uh are most of them are Sudanese nationals. Others are from Congo, others are from Somali, yeah. So as I told you earlier, we have like five refugee camps. So we had started from Kakuma 4 and right now we are in Kakuma 3, yeah. Almost everything uh, is the same here. I think it's the regions that are different, yeah. But you can also have a glimpse at what Kakuma 3 looks like. Okay guys, let me turn the camera so that you can see. Guys, so where you see over there that is called the Kakuma reception center so just in case you are a refugee you're coming from Burundi Congo Sudan uh, Somali anywhere you are coming from so that's where you go first and that's where they receive you then they will do the necessary for you okay guys so there where you can see it's a bit far yeah but I've tried to zoom yeah so guys i think the regions were like uh, where we we came from uh kakuma 4 i think most sudanese are there here i can see like uh congolese and uh somalis Sindo, most of them are here so Kakuma Camp hosts more than 500 retail and wholesale shops. The camp has various markets mostly organized according to ethnicity where a wide variety of products are on sale. There is a service sector with restaurants, coffee tea shops, bars, pool halls, laundries and businesses offering telephone, banking, electronic repairs and maintenance, education, computing and internet services. The main market counts more than 120 stalls with video clubs, hardware stores, a post office which is glazed Kenyan mail and so-called hotels which are coffee shops where locally brewed beer is served. So guys, welcome again. This is Kakuma 3. Don't forget to subscribe for your girl channel. Yes. Bye. <laughs> So guys, the host community, which are mainly the Turkana people, come to sell firewood for the refugees because they use firewood as a means of cooking. Yeah. Here, on the other side, we have Kakuma 3, and then on this other side, we have Kakuma 2 here and there are so many churches over here I've been told the communities like if it's the Congolese people they get together and then they decide to build a church for themselves because of language barrier so you'll get Sudanese, Sudanese people are going to their churches the Congolese to their own and the Muslims, they have a mosque over here. So because even Congolese and Sudanese people, some of them are Muslims. But for the Christians, the community build their own churches so that there will be no language barrier. Yeah, so we are in Kakuma too, guys. We can't go to Labaye because it's a bit far from this Kakuma 1, 2, 3, and 4, yeah. But we can access Kakuma 1 to 4. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Typical homesteads of the refugee camps, guys. Here we are. Yeah. 
Guys, there's a school over there again. Nini Chris. So so many kakumas. Guys, so uh we are now entering Kakuma 2 market. Yeah. I hope you're liking this video so far and uh subscribe for your girl. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So guys, we're still working um, in the Kakuma refugee camp and guess what? I wanted to buy bananas because I was feeling hungry. Well, shock to me. Imagine one banana like they sell one banana at 25 Kenyan shil 25 and they're small, 25. Then one egg, like the normal, the grade eggs, one goes for 35 shillings. 35 Kenyan shillings. And I was thinking, as we complain when one egg goes to 15 shillings and here one the grade eggs one of them is 35 this is 25 bob moja hey these people in here well it's god anyway let's continue We have an hospital here. Yeah. So. Guys, this is a Sudanese church. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys have seen a glimpse of how Kakuma refugee camp looks like. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like, share, leave a comment and tell me what you think. And I'll see you in my next video. Till next time, bye-bye and stay safe.